While prices are steadily going up every single day, we can look at our paychecks and see that taxes are also increasing every single paycheck. And out of those two, the only one that you can actually control is the increase of your taxes. So today, what we're going to do is reduce those taxes and take control. So realistically, we can only fix one of those. And the only one that I can help you fix is the paying of higher taxes. So first and foremost, you need to start by making sure that you're keeping track of all of your expenses. So anything that you are spending and you're trying to write off on your taxes, you have to keep track of that. If there's mileage, you need to keep track of your mileage. If you're making contributions to charity, you need to keep track of that. If you're doing business write-offs, you need to keep track of all of that. And where would you think that you're going to keep track of that? There's multiple ways to keep track. One of them, of course, I have a few different resources for you. I will link to all of them in the description box, but there is a mileage tracker that you can use. Make sure with your, if you're tracking your miles, you put every single day and all of the miles that you start off with and that you end with. If you're keeping track of all of your business expenses, if you're purchasing thing for your, things for your business, you want to keep track of that also on the expense tracker. And of course, you need to make sure that all of these documents are in one place. I have a whole video talking about keeping track of your documents for your taxes in one place, making a binder. You can do a DIY binder where you take the binder and you make it yourself. I'll link to that video in the description box, but also I have a tax binder that you can purchase. And then there's also a tax little kit that you can take and print out for yourself and then you can make your own binder. But either way, you need to keep track of all of the expenses that you're trying to write off on your taxes. Make sure that you are ready for tax season when you go see your tax preparer. They will love you for this. This tax binder will have you organized for tax time and all year long. Perfect for individuals, small business owners, and independent contractors. It includes instructions on how to use the binder, personal information worksheet, a business information worksheet, list of tax documents you will need to file taxes, current documents, envelope with top closure, mileage tracker, a tax deduction checklist, expense tracker, receipts envelope, three tax return envelopes, zipper closure. This binder is durable and it will protect all of your important doc documents from damage or loss. Once tax season is all over, this binder will hold your tax records in the current tax document section for you to collect for the next year. It will also hold your prior year's tax return safely so that you can refer back to them at any time and provide them for any financial reason like buying a home or getting a business loan. Order yours today. Now, when you're trying to write things off on your taxes, you need to start off with organized documents. So you don't want to have your papers and everything in multiple places and trying to find everything at the last minute. You want to keep everything in one place and organized. You need to make sure you have receipts for all of your purchases. These receipts need to be itemized. They need to say, okay, you purchased these different items on this date for this amount of money. You cannot use a bank statement to say, oh, she went to Home Depot on Friday the 12th or whatever. And because on that statement, you going to Home Depot does not tell me what you're purchasing from Home Depot. Did you purchase a lawnmower to mow your lawn? Or did you purchase storage bins to store your business documents? We have no idea. So 
I urge you to make sure that you keep track of your receipts. Make sure that you keep track of all of the paperwork that you have for tax time. And then make sure that you keep track of any invoices, anything like that. And there's a couple of ways that you can keep track. You can keep track of things on paper, of course. You can keep track of things online, like in spreadsheets, in Google Docs, or in Excel. And you can also keep track of things in applications. So there's a few apps that I know of that are free. One, I'll, I'll give you two names that you can use for your business. And then there's two apps that you can use for your personal uh, finance. These two apps are for your personal usage. And the first one is Rocket Money. And then the second one is Empower. And both of them are free apps that you can use for your personal finances. You can keep track of your budgeting. You can keep track of anything that you're purchasing, any contributions, donations to churches, anything that you're trying to write off on your taxes. You can keep track of everything like that in those two apps. And they're both for free. These two apps are free also, and they are best for small business users. And the first one is Zoho Expense. There is a free version and then there's also a paid version. And then the next one is Found. And both of those apps are going to keep track of your expenses. You can put that information in there when you're spending or when you're purchasing things or when money is coming in. These apps are gonna keep track of all of that for you so that you don't have to you know, keep track of it yourself on an Excel spreadsheet or on a Google Docs or Google Sheets or whatever have you, or in a book. Everything can be in an app on your phone or your um, iPad or wherever you're going to keep track of your documents and your expenses. I want to make sure I help you save money on your taxes, making sure that you're lowering your tax liability and that you're saving as much money as you can. And if you learned anything new, go ahead and like this video. And if you learned more than one thing that was new, go ahead and subscribe to the Financial Spotlight. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Thanks for joining me. And if you wanna know how to put together that tax binder I was talking about, go ahead and watch this video right here so that you can get the step-by-step -step instructions on how to put the, together the best tax binder for the upcoming tax season.